Greetings, everyone. I am Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's a show we do each and every Wednesday here on the channel. Multiple episodes, reviews of new albums across all the genres that we cover here on the channel. Hard rock, metal, stoner rock, doom, progressive rock, jazz fusion, classic rock. We cover lots of ground here. Death metal, extreme metal, black metal, all that stuff. Thrash. That's what we do on the SOT. Today, we're going to take a look at the second album, second full length from this band from Philadelphia. It follows uh, their terrific official full length from a couple of years ago, which uh, we liked quite a bit here on the channel. And we were very excited when news hit that their brand new album was coming out. The band is called Heavy Temple. Garden of Heathens is the name of the album. Power Trio from Philly. There they are, the high priestess leading the way. <laughs> we got lyrics and stuff here in this little mini digipack type thing. High priestess, Nighthawk, of course, on lead vocals and bass guitar, harmonium and cello. We've got Lord Paisley on guitars, electric and acoustic guitars, and Baron Lycan on drums. So, what kind of music do these guys? guys and gal play uh this is basically psychedelic doom stoner metal heavy blues rock occult rock all rolled into one their last album was tremendous and this album is tremendous perhaps a little more diverse get a few more different types of sounds and styles on this album which i think is really good moving forward uh she's got a great voice she is absolutely perfect for this uh, style of music, and she's got uh, she can be aggressive when she wants, but she's got that kind of ethereal, floating thing that works so well against all these big thunderous riffs and moments of kind of creepy atmosphere and things. Eight new tracks on this album. This album is longer than the previous album. It's their longest album that they did. I believe it's what forty. 3, 44 minutes long, something like that. It starts off with a banger called Extreme Indifference to Life. Really good track, just under six minutes long. Again, it's kind of doomy, stonery, classic rock, blues rock type of thing. Uh, High Wrath is next. It's a shorter piece. That's also really good, good banger. Divine and Discretion. That's where the kind of psychedelic elements really start to come in. House of Worship, another killer one. You got Snake Oil and Other Remedies. That's just under nine minutes long. Again, I love the way they combine these kind of doomy, occulty type riffs, heavy, heavy blues rock riffs, stoner riffs, doom riffs, right? The, the specter of Black Sabbath is here, but you can hear all sorts of other things in their music, right? There's definitely, you hear some of the early 90s stoner scene, right? Some of the spots as well, you know, like Caius and maybe a little Fu Manchu and things like that, but Sabbath is certainly there. Pentagram is certainly there. Um, in the Garden of Heathens is track number six. That's very kind of like spacey and trippy sounding. That's a little one of the mellower tracks on the album. And then Jesus Wept, probably my favorite song on the album. Man, the riffing on there is absolutely terrific. Absolutely crushing. You love just crushing doom riffs. And her vocals are just spot on. Like I said, it's just a really good combination of her vocal style and the way they weave all these different styles really, really good. Then uh, Psycho Mantrium finishes it all off. That's another really cool kind of spooky stoner doom track. Really good. Uh, I love the vibe of this album. I really dig the production. And uh, yeah, it's just 40 some odd minutes of really, really cool uh, occult doom slash stoner, stoner slash psych music. Excellent stuff. The songs are really memorable. Her vocals are great. The riffs are killer. The atmosphere is creepy and, and just kind of eerie. and Yeah, good stuff. I really like this a lot. I like their previous album a lot as well. Uh, I think this album probably has a little bit more variety to it. Maybe not quite as heavy as the first album. Not quite. But it's still really heavy, and it goes in some different directions, which I think is really good. So, uh, yeah, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Dig this. This might be a contender for album of the year right here, or top 10. We'll see. And there they are once again, so you can get them. I mean, they look like they came out of, like, 1972, right? <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah, Heavy Temple, Garden of Heathens. Terrific stuff. Go check it out. I will drop the uh, Bandcamp link down below so you can go 
give it a listen and consider getting a CD or a vinyl or purchasing the uh, digital version. And I hope you enjoy it. If you do listen to it, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Uh, Going to be a little light on the new reviews today just because of a lot of things, but uh, I may get one more for you. We'll see how it goes, but should have a full blast uh, set of them next week. So till then, I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.